I am Dr. Amar Pilsen Ryan. I am a general physician practicing in Dwarka, New Delhi. Today, I will be talking about uh, angina, uh, that is chest pain. What is angina? Angina pectoris is chest pain or discomfort that occurs when the heart does not get enough blood and oxygen. Most often, it is known as angina. Uh, what are the causes of angina? The most common cause of angina is reduced blood flow to the heart. Poor supply of blood occurs when arteries that carry blood to the heart become narrowed and blocked. There are a number of reasons responsible for this, such as a blood clot in the blood vessel, blockage in an artery that can rupture, reduced pumping activity of the heart muscle, or stiffness in arteries. What are the signs and symptoms of angina? Will a person always have the same symptoms? Well, generally, chest pain is a typical symptom of angina. However, it may affect people differently. Angina can feel like a pressing, squeezing, or crushing pain in the chest or fullness, tightness, or a heavy weight in the center of the chest. Mostly, you can ask a patient feel like Jessica Hathi chad gaya hai on the chest and it is mostly in the center. Sometimes pain may also occur in your upper back, arms, neck and shoulder and most commonly in the left uh, arm. One may also feel some other symptoms like shortness of breath, weakness, tiredness and fainting. What are the treatment options for chest pain or angina when it happens? Whenever you experience a chest pain, visit immediately to your doctor. Your doctor will check and may perform some test and accordingly will prescribe appropriate medicine to you. Your healthcare provider may prescribe medicines if you have angina. This medicine helps to relieve pain by broadening the blood vessels. This lets more blood follow to your heart muscle and decreases the workload on the heart. Can angina pectoris be prevented? Yes. The answer is absolutely yes. There are many ways uh, we can prevent uh, angina pectoris. Primarily, with smoking. Smoking causes a lot of blockages and ischemia in the blood vessels. You must stop uh, smoking uh, if you are facing any issues. And I would say otherwise also people should uh, quit smoking to prevent heart problems. Monitoring and controlling other health conditions such as high blood pressure and high cholesterol diabetes. So this metabolic syndrome, as soon as you have uh, problems of metabolic syndrome like high blood sugar levels, high blood uh, uh, cholesterol levels, one must uh, immediately talk to a doctor, start medicine, change lifestyle habits, have diet fresh more in vegetables and fruits and less in cholesterol. That is the main thing eating a healthy diet and maintaining a healthy weight. That is very important. Getting physically active after you get your doctor's approval. Yes, in the initial days of angina, we ask patient uh, not to do heavy workload or anything. Once you are stabilized, you need to start doing exercise also, especially walking uh, daily on a routine basis. Aim for 150 minutes of moderate activity each week. That comes to about 30-40 minutes daily. Plus, it's recommended that you get 10 minutes of strength training twice a week and to stretch three times a week for 5 to 10 minutes each time. Consult your doctor before initiating or modifying any exercise. Reducing your stress level. This you can do by multiple things. You have to sleep properly, take proper rest, you may do extracurricular activities like yoga. You may do some part. You may uh, do some med meditation. Whatever you feel better, in, you have to do this so that you are you are relaxed. Limiting alcohol consumption. This is another problem. Uh, alcohol must be uh, consumed uh, rarely and very uh, in, uh, in a limited doses, not more than 60 ml of alcohol on any given day. That prevents a lot of problems. Then, of course, continue your medicine as prescribed by the doctor. 
especially medicine for the angina shouldn't be stopped uh, quickly must consult a doctor before reducing dose or stopping uh, uh, medicine ignoring chest pain can be fatal thus it is always better to keep your doctor informed about your symptoms right treatment at right time can prevent any major cardiovascular complication at uh, these day it is said with so much advancement in medicines and uh, another interventions one shouldn't die of cardiac failure so whenever you are having chest pain please visit your doctor and especially the signs like shortness of breath along with the pain weakness tiredness fainting these may be clear signs of uh, your angina pectoris uh, please take care all of you uh, all the best <laughs>